folks welcome or welcome back to conversations we are your host ben and i'm ryan kim wow <laughs> is that jeff goldblum <laughs> yeah, yeah yes that's my jeff goldblum that's yes yeah, i'm ryan unexpected and we have a special our special guest in the house homie that stops by to 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 chat with us is he a special guest or is he more than that? more i guess he's uh he's are a, we dtring right now are we doing a I dtr think, i think we're dtring okay, right okay. Yeah. we're okay. defining the I relationship guys DTR well right first it's mike kim comedy everyone mike kim comedy mike yeah. kim comedy is back yes but welcome back yes mike. dtr i'm down to do that what well okay a dtr defining the relationship right yes so, so like i mean we've been hanging out yeah. you've been on a few episodes no, sure. whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa 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 that's too fast hey, that's too fast hey, hey, that's hey, weird hey. don't make me feel like hey, a slut dude hey. okay okay Once. you're bad at this Sorry. you've been married too long you need to stop okay all right Whew. well yeah i think we're dtring right now are yeah, you like yeah. a host now i don't know dude i think so it's kind of technically issue you know okay maybe i should ask you like what do you what do you want to be like you know well, what I'm when, he, when he said another like uh when he went uh i was like you don't even know what we are yeah and then and then when he said special guest i'm like oh, yeah I, that that was i'm just one of your side bitches now well you're not special you ain't a guest I'm you are special that. yeah special guest host i want to be host. special be, guest host you know what it's yeah. like mr rogers neighborhood you yeah. know how they like he has like, i like special guest host yeah. you're like cowboy special, curtis special guest host you know yeah i like that i like Bing that bong. You're yeah. like uh, Samuel, uh, was it Samuel L. Jackson? No, not man. Samuel, the other one. Oh, uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Exactly, yes, Lawrence. He yeah. was He was the mailman Mail? in freaking Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. Yes. I'm Morpheus. Yes, you're Morpheus. Morpheus, yeah. Morpheus the mailman. Morpheus. Okay. Well, welcome back, Mike. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Guys, um, we're kobe out. We're kobe out today. Mamba mentality. Um, Mamba. I don't know when this episode is going to air, but See? today is 824. 824. It's August 24th. And uh, we are remembering the great Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Mamba. So that's why we're Mamba. rocking our, 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 our Kobe face. They announced that uh, February 8th, 2024, they're going to release his statue at the, uh, at the, the game. Yeah. Really? The that's Staples, tight. Staples Center. Not Crypto.com yeah. crypto crypto arena. Com, no. Yeah. It's horrible still, name, by the it way. It is horrible. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, crypto come on. Like it should have been the Kobe Bryant like arena or something or, or just keep it Staples. Yeah, yeah sure, Staples. Staples yeah. yeah, yeah. Just Staples is not. I get it though. Staples is not hot and popping these days. You know, it's not a. When's the last time you've been to Staples? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, there every. I'm not, not hot and popping. I got a, a, a new chair from Staples, which is gonna Wait, be a chair. Wait, they still have a Staples. Here. Yeah, Staples, Office Depot, they got all that. Well, like we, you know, we might have to bleep these names out because they don't, they don't pay for this kind of. Yeah. yeah, as you guys can see, we're desperate for sponsors. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Actually, please, yes. Yeah. Timu, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> your boy Ryan right here, he Stop shops with... there every day. He loves his twelve ninety five dollars shoes. I don't, I don't know. I would never buy that. <laughs> but actually, I do have a gift for us for uh, in oh, honor snap. of Kobe. Kobe. Okay. 824 it's a it's a little hand bracelet on like a little bracelet thing oh, it's like a friendship bracelet yeah, a friendship put bracelet my, put it on my right hand right here make me you, official you one right here yeah. it's official and Hell if yeah. you're not always wearing this, I'm gonna be very upset. I got these on Tendu for for. Uh, these are like those uh, shoelace. Um, I thought it was called shoelace Pino. bracelets. Yes. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do it myself. Mark. Oh, this is kind of dope. Go. There you go. You keep one for yourself. Heck okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. sick. Now we're bracelet bros. Heck yeah. Bracelet, bracelet brothers. Bros. Yeah. Friendship bracelet. That's what's up, Friendship. man. Friendship. Kobe spelled wrong on mine. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> Are you serious? No, he's lying, dude. Wait, he's so lying. Wait, what did it say? No, my bad. I, I thought it's. I thought it was an R, but it's actually a B. That's I, hilarious. I just, That's hilarious. In I honor looked at of... looked at it too fast. Wow. Shout I out. almost got you. Almost got me. Wait, I which was letter, like, which letter? Did wow. You I thought like twenty no, of them. I thought it was K O R E, but <laughs> Corey. Yeah. Corey Bryant. <laughs> I was like Co Korea Bryant. Dude, Cor think, Corey, you know Corey Bryant. Corey Bryant. Corey Bryant. <laughs> his cousin. Say Bryant. Korea Bryant. Anyway, no, this is dope. This is dope. Bryant. This is dope. Um, nice, cool. I thought I was a little disappointed because I thought this was actually a uh, like one of those survival paracord bracelets where like oh yeah yeah where you can use it use it for as survival. like a so, mm -hmm. boy scout mm -hmm, tie thing yeah, like, yeah 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 um, yeah and it's like really the tension is really strong because it's basically made from paracord from people who uh, like jump off planes and stuff yeah with parachutes right so it's pretty good yeah, so well, these are, yeah this is a shoelace bracelet and That's you know what's up, man hey R I P Kobe Bryant I don't man. want everybody to think that you come here and get kissed but. 
If you do in the beginning, you do. Did you somebody will. put out a cigarette on your hand right there? Uh, actually, I don't. I think it was. I think it was me that accidentally burnt myself. Like on. Accident. I have one of those too. I have a handful of those. I got. Though. I got a little. Uh, like it looks like a cigarette burn, but it's not. It's crazy, right? Like I, I now at our age, I feel like I have too many. Mm. Where it's like, it's almost like, I have more scars than I do have like anything else, like hair or anything. I mean, like that. <laughs> what? It's, it's just what? Ha- <laughs> it's just what happens, bro. When you get older, bro, you just get more weird things on your body. You start to deteriorate. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys wear this for yeah. a long time. I'm gonna wear you it. You know, all day. Today. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of today, I will. Oh, three and a half hours. Really? Left. Yes. I could have used yeah. that. I'll use those for guests. No, dude, this is tight. I like it. I like okay. it. Dude, cool. the guests would throw it away 100. percent Ouch. No, I don't think so. They would. Did you throw away my gift that I gave you? No, it's in my trunk. I have a question. You haven't opened it yet, huh? No, so I keep it. In the where trunk are you getting special. all these gifts from, bro? You've been very generous in the past few episodes, and you've been. Um, you have. You just have a bag of gifts. Where are you getting um, all these gifts from, dude? Temu. I already we talked about it once, Temu, but I've I've actually had to stop. You're like myself. I feel like you're Tem, Temu's number one customer. No, not dude. anymore. I uh, I had to. Isn't there I like a, to, a, to leave, a, a a scandal or not a scandal, but like yeah, there was a, a couple of tic, a couple of TikTok videos, like one or two. Look, look, look at him already being like, know. no, it's it's not verifiable. It's not, it's a not. Fact. dude. Some of that what, stuff what, on what, TikTok is all fake anyway. Ryan loves Timu. What, what are what are people saying? What's the scandal? Uh, some people just got their identity stolen and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, just why do you say it so casually? <laughs> okay, when I mean identity stolen, like not necessarily <laughs> I full identity, just like their credit bank 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 stolen. Like that sucks. That's yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, how is that not? That's still horrible. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> oh. That's why it's only there's only like two. Are you sure your credit card information is safe right now? Dude, it's never safe. You know how many times Vero loses our credit card? Like she loses it like at least once a month. That's actually true. I, dude, I've gotten identity lot. theft a, uh, a handful of times. I'm like, Are I don't serious? even know how it's happened. Yeah, like well, I'll just get um random charges on dude, my debit you, card. You put, and a bar, like you put your bar at the uh, your card at the bar. And one of those barbacks is just an asshole, or it, it, the bartender is an asshole that knows a- bigger assholes. They just give the number to, and then they they do a scam, and then you know get a little on the side. Like I'm sure people do that. Man, that's true. Because I, mean, I get paranoid right about every time I have to give a form with my so, uh, uh, social security number on it. Yeah. I get so paranoid. Like I had to give it to the Laugh Factory recently, and I gave it to some random guy who said he was he's a guy who worked here, but the manager's not here. I'll give it to him, and then I walked off later, and I was like. He could have done anything with that that's paper, and your, I wouldn't that's even your know. Information, that's yeah. my fucking social security number. Yeah, yeah. And the older I get, the more I care. Before I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just send it. But it is employment, yeah. right? You have to do that for your taxes. I, I, right? I need, so I need to do that. But also, it 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 would make me feel more comfortable if I could see it being handed directly to the person. And mm. but I don't have control of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Speaking of taxes, dude, I just freaking. Uh, filed well i i so i started my own llc Mm -hmm. for the first time this this well i started in 2022 and um because i'm like okay i'm doing a lot of like work on my own now so people have advised me like oh you should start your own your own entity yeah and so i like turned in all my stuff just like literally yesterday and i'm i'm terrified because i'm like i don't even know if i'm doing this correctly it's the best way man you're getting your feet wet you know what i mean so, so I just hope I don't owe learn. the freaking government hella money, man. Yeah, I mean, w- you wouldn't owe them now, right? You wouldn't owe them now because you didn't do anything. Yeah. But definitely, it, it, it'll be. I, de- like, I don't want to be audited for sure. Well, d- be on the up and up, dude. Save all your receipts. Like that's the thing I didn't do. I I didn't save the receipts that I used for basically like for me when when I did dojo it was like, oh, I use all this stuff, the resources to to do dojo stuff. You know what I mean? And then when I wrote that off in my taxes. I needed to show proof, and I didn't have any of that proof anymore. I was like, "Oh crap!" And then I got audited. So, so yeah, just yeah. Just, just show well, your proof, show your work. Audit. You know, save your save your receipts and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah learn from Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Y- didn't he go to jail? He went to prison for tax evasion. Yeah, he did. Yeah, dude. Oh, he was okay. gone for like a few years. I, I wonder if they fucked with the people fucked with him in jail. Nah, nah, dude. What Wesley Snipes Blade. can He's fight, Blade, man. bro. He's, He's Blade. Blade. Dude. He's Blade, and he can fucking fight, man. He can. Yeah. He can. He's legit. Yeah. He's legit. Right. 
Um, yeah. Anyway, but like you, man, you kind of came in hot. I, I did. You. I did. I had. I had a day. I kind of had a day. I mean, you guys read it. I on was me. watching you from above, and then I saw you pull in. You know. And yeah. Just... No, it was just. It was just like kind of a long. But I've also kind of been in just a weird season. I feel like I've just been a little funky. Mm-hmm. And um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get it off me. I'm trying to get right, it off yeah, me. Yeah, let's talk about it. Well, like it's funny because. Um, I think you were talking to both me and Mike. Yeah, I when, saw it both that happen. Like, because I was telling him to park in that spot. So yeah, because I and I I remember <laughs> oh, yeah. you you have yeah you have a loading zone yeah, across the yeah, street. Yeah. I'm like, oh shoot, isn't it like after 6 p.m. like yellow <laughs> yellow curbs are, are are good? Hey, don't and, tell everybody that. Right? Come on. I mean, man. yeah, yeah. You don't it's know our this secret. Now, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Were you texting me and Ben? Hey, park there right now. No, 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 well, no. Your, I, your, I, I didn't tell you. I wasn't telling him anything. Oh, you just it was just me? you. Yeah, okay. he just came in at the right time. Oh, because he, he's known. Oh, so that. you don't. He's you didn't want that. me to have this fight. No, it's just that like you're like he's only been here like two, three times. You've been here a million times, so you gotta fend for yourself. I'm I'm showing him the spots. So once I show you the spots, then yeah. you fend for yourself too. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so I snagged the spot. You did. And and uh, I think Mike saw saw, you he, saw yeah. me, but he didn't know it was me. I thought it was somebody else. Thought it was somebody else. And I started cursing at this person. <laughs> Under my breath, like son of a fuck, man. and oh, I got closer. Right and I saw, I saw those like right? thick, thick Ali Wong brim glasses yes. at the top, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, it's Ben. All right, whatever." What if it was Ali Wong? Yeah. So that, you, so your anger level dropped after. There was that? no anger at all after. Oh, that's interesting. I don't care if it's if, if it's you guys. I don't care if it's a stranger. They need to. I I would be pissed if it was you. And I, you and I, would I was be. looking for a parking spot. You, you took be. it. Yeah, I'd be pretty tired. Isn't that funny, man? I feel like <laughs> I feel like road rage, or not even just road rage, but like. Uh, it, it's it, our anger is conditional, sure. based off of who made the offense. Sure, right? Like if it's like a stranger, anger level is like, yo, I can, I can be mad, I can be justified. But if it's like somebody that you know, then you're like, what if it's somebody you know but you don't really like them? You know well, I mean? then then yeah, like my neighbor, my if I saw like a neighbor like that I didn't like, and then like they so that, you know what that, that does thing, then? Like, that just makes your pent up like passive aggressiveness build up true. more that yeah. is true yeah. yeah i'm not a passive aggressive guy so so that would be are you like a, like confrontational guy oh, of course come on man hell yeah i am i mean sometimes it's at a fault actually to a yeah, fault. you are dude you're very to confrontational. a fault but but then that's the thing about my relationships i don't have normally i don't have anything that extends worse than like a, a couple of days you know like beef Oh, because because you address it we directly. Address it, we get it. We get yeah, it past yeah. it, and then we move on. That's the best I mean? way to do things. Because I hate when people act like, "Oh, it's no big deal." They don't want to tell you, Passive and they guy. resent you for months. Yeah. Don't get married. <laughs> but I'm oh yeah, wow. Wow. you know your wife's right there. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> she also listens to the pod <laughs> only when she's on it. <laughs> oh. Her That's sister so does. Her sister listens. I'm just kidding. Sister, you know, I love you. Love you guys. It was a joke. It was a uh, anyway. Sorry, go on. I didn't mean to. I like how you're talking to me like you're apologizing to me. Like I'm the, I'm not, I'm not them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but it yeah. was a, it was a. I didn't mean to break your, your interrupt your flow, but yeah. Well, what? what I what? think, I think the flow is just broken. Yeah, yeah I you fucked destroyed up. it, dude. I destroyed. Like last it. time when you took a piss, you destroyed the flow. No, that's a, for your yeah. own flow. Yeah, you're yes, right. You're you right. Had, that's what you did. Yes, yes. Mm. No, but yeah, anger is very conditional, right? Because I told you, uh, I was trying to merge into this one lane. With this, and this other person like cut me off, almost hit me with the back of their car, and I got pissed off and I sped up next to them and I was gonna like be like you fucker, do it. and then it was my uncle, mm. and I went. He looked at me. I was like, oh, oh, talking about how do you say oh? And he like, yeah. What did he say to you? Did he? No, he has no idea. No, he's a shitty driver. He's horrible. Oh, he is the like epitome of Asian like stereotype driver, and it makes me so annoyed because I know he's just contributing to the stereotype. Cause he's so bad. He hit a homeless guy when I was little. Damn. Like he didn't have to, but he was like, "Let me." He didn't have to, but <laughs> yeah. he chose to. He didn't have to. No, the lost the the uh, in the car. He, uh. he was like, he was like, I could wait. Let the homeless man walk, and he's like, "Oh oh." <laughs> but, uh, hey, and know. the homeless guy went. He hit the back of, back of his. He went ah. <laughs> Well, you know, like when he hit somebody with a shopping cart, no it was lawsuit. super funny to look at. No, no, no. Now he's happened. homeless, dude. Yeah, he's we, homeless. We were gone. Have, yeah. Yeah, no my, one's gonna my, represent that a homeless sucks. guy. Yeah, that my, that sucks. That's my, my uncle was like, was like, oh, oh, are you, are you okay? He's like, ah, he's like, okay, okay. 
uh, do you want the McFlurry? <laughs> <laughs> he, want, he offered a McDonald's, dude. Uh, uh, can I get a Big Mac with that too? <laughs> Bro, that's hella funny. If I was a if I was a crackhead that got hit like that, I would have been like, ah, can you throw in three Big Macs too for my friends? You know what's crazy? I I, I got hit by a car when I was uh, I was twelve, and um, it wasn't bad, but I was just I was uh, I was skateboarding across the street, mm-hmm. and there was a car like that was jaywalk style. No 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 no, just like legit. Crosswalk? There's a crosswalk, and then the this car had a stop sign. I was crossing. I guess the guy just wasn't paying attention, and then he just kind of like it wasn't like he like hit me. He just mm. like took his foot off the brake, and then the car just kind of like rolled, rolled into, into me, you. and then I fell off the skateboard. Side or back? Uh, no, he like like the back of my oh. knee. So it was like one of the, I just like collapsed, and then he I I knew, but it was so weird because when you're a kid, you don't know what the right exactly. who's oh. right or wrong. So you said sorry. I almost felt like I messed up. Oh. Cause oh. he got out of the car, and oh, hey, yeah. and I think I said sorry. Mm-hmm. You, did you say sorry which, first? Which is, yeah, is yeah, the yeah, worst yeah, yeah. Thing because, because we're trained to. Yeah, well, dude. If you, say, if you say sorry first, you're, you're, in, you're in fault, right? Yeah. Then, then, then the the guy is like, oh, I'm gonna take advantage of this. Oh, for sure. Maybe I don't know, but see, it, but actually, I don't think he did that though. So, I I, I got knocked off my skateboard, yeah. and I thought I messed up. So then I got, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, like. I got in front of your car, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, but he, he, he was like, bro, but he was, but you know, I think he was also a young dude. So he was just like, oh my gosh, bro, I didn't even see you, man. Are you all right? I was like, yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. He's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah. He's like, dude, are you going to tell your parents? (laughs) And I was just like, uh, no, like I'm, I'm okay. And then in high, I mean, but like, it's not like I should have taken advantage of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so weird as both of us, probably because we're both young, we just like, we, we both of us thought we messed up somehow. Yeah, yeah. So but you like, guys both like thought you guys. Yeah, came up, like, yeah. But I mean, he, he was more worried about getting, are you okay? That's so Are funny. you going to tell your parents? Yeah, he legit was like, are you going to tell your Damn, parents? No. I'm like, that's hilarious. No. <laughs> Maybe I, I should I, have. I, I don't know. Car, though. But I got, I hit a car riding a bike and then he pulled, you know, those alleyways where it just, it's just a street and there's an alley and then there's buildings and then just one it was just oh, yeah, out yeah, of nowhere, yeah, yeah. right? And so I turned my thing and I, I hit my handlebar into my stomach and I remember my handlebar went into his car, but he was an old dude and I was like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then like he was like, Oh, are you okay? I was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got on my bike and I just kept on riding. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't you, know what happened. You thought that was your fault? I don't even remember. I just remember being yeah, in so maybe, much pain. Maybe, like and I just like I need to get out of here and get home. Like <laughs> Isn't that weird? I, it, like, as are we trained as Asians to apologize? So, so, so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, I don't want no trouble. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's the the Jackie Chan like syndrome. I don't want no trouble. You know, I don't no, know like our parents train the... us to, to apologize yeah. for no reason because we we were like, if we apologize, maybe Appa stops hitting me. <laughs> maybe that could oh, be wow, it. That, was really, that could be like, it. like deep. I'm like, wow. So, what do you maybe. think that comes from? Where like. So there's this sort of uh, automatically we, our instinct is to apologize for conflict, and then there's also like Asian anger. Do you think you know what I'm saying? Like it's either we're sorry or we're pissed. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Well, the the piss comes from the suppression of not being able to express ourselves on on a daily basis of how we feel, right? So it's pent up and mixed with the the night and never being able to. Uh, express our side to our parents because yeah, exactly. no matter what we say, we're no wrong. accountability. There's no accountability. Mm-hmm. There's no because. accountability, so we're being gaslit. So no matter yeah, no matter what, we always feel like yeah, that's a yeah. We always think that we're at to the fault. outside, which happened to you. Man, that's right. Ryan, Ryan, knew never he, saying he, sorry. He knew what he was. He said, like, "Oh, sorry, I'm sorry." He kept driving off. Yeah. He kept right. You, you, you genuinely were like, "Oh fuck, it's my fault," even though it's your right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, like so, just don't look at it. I'm sorry. That's what I did. You know, it's hella funny though. So we're sort of conditioned because we probably learned it from our parents to yeah. be apologetic or, mm-hmm. or, or yeah, say sorry. Have your parents ever told you that they were sorry to no. you? Literally, bro. This happened during the pandemic because mm-hmm. I, I literally have never heard my mom apologize or admit that she was wrong mm-hmm. for anything. But in the pandemic. I don't even remember what she did, bro. I, like it was so like the fact that she apologized for something was so like mind blowing to me that I almost forgot what I was mad at her about. Mm. Where um, 
I, man, I forgot what it was. Would it had to do anything political? No, or no, 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 no. Like Black Lives Matter or anything like no what? racial? No, I'm just trying to throw no, no, out no, no. I get it, I get it. During that time, where like, <laughs> why would why would a Korean immigrant be mad whose about parents Black Lives went through Matter? the Korean War go? Oh, sorry for the Black Lives Matter. No, but be angry about like him if like why are you maybe like why are you supporting that like they don't understand it like how we understand. I, it. I you bet know you. what? what Honestly, it? it it might have been during that time because I was very passionate about mm -hmm. all the the oh, protests. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. my fault, my fault, my fault. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Because I, I, because my mom was like, she's like, you know, there was protests happening out in downtown LA, yeah, just yeah, all over yeah. LA, right? And she's like, don't go to those. She's like, mate, don't go because that's dangerous, uh, and like, don't go and don't support that, and and I was kind of biting my tongue. I was, I'm not gonna like say I am or I'm not. I'm just like, okay, I was just like, whatever, no. and I was going, and then when I had a conversation with her, and she was like, it's wrong for you to go support that, and I was like, oh my, like, come on, let's talk about we this. We exist here because of them. And like and like and it got pretty like kind of heated, more so me getting heated because I was like. Like I knew that's why I didn't want to have the conversation with her because I knew I was gonna get passionate about it, and then once I like expressed my point and I think she saw like how passionate I was, she's like, "Okay, arasa, chama, chama Oh, that was her. Her sorry. Yeah, and it was very like wow. yeah, brush it, it was brush like, it off, yeah. but it was so like. Did you, you just say words? you're sorry? But well, she still admitted. Her yeah, fault. she's never told me that. Before. She's wow. never said sorry. Yeah. She's wow. never been like, okay, I'm wrong. Yeah, that's so. So I had one instance when my parents were watching, we were playing around, and then like uh, with my uh, uh, brother's kids, and then they were like, you know, watching them, and we we're just hanging out. And I remember my dad looks over to me and was like, you know, spanking you guys was wrong. Like we shouldn't have spanked you guys the way we spanked you. Wow! Guys. And I was like, and I was I've like, never heard okay, that. Yeah. okay, let's like before we give him all that credit. Okay, let's like, he, okay, <laughs> he, he he said that, and I was yeah. like, oh shoot, wow, like they they can evolve, you know, they can, evolve. They can learn, you know, not a Pikachu so, forever. But yeah, they they seriously like uh, like when he said that, I was like, wow, okay, he understands. So I I it's so funny though, I use it against him so much. Like anytime he says anything, I'm like. But dad, remember how you said this? Like you were wrong that. How can you say 100% that you're not wrong about this? And like, that's probably why they don't like to admit they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I got, I got a perfect score right no, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely gave him. Like when I don't use it a lot, but when he said that, I was like, wow, okay, they're capable. But you know, everything else he does and says completely me, makes me think like, ah, oh, nah, you don't know what you're doing. You just don't feel good about that specific situation, but. Like spanking was not the, not the oh I could be wrong about like the bigger picture of things like oh maybe I did like put some trauma on my kids and I should take some think, accountability. Do you think that our parents um, became softer as they grew older? I mm. feel like my mom has. Yeah, my mom. My mom used to be way more, um, bro. Like she would yeah. literally tell me, "You can only marry a Korean girl." Like as a kid. <laughs> Now like it, like, it was a marry a girl. <laughs> literally, it was a command. Yeah. You are only allowed to marry a Korean girl. And as I mean, well, now that I'm freaking in my 40s, she's just like, can you just give me a grandchild? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, are you gay? You know, my mom, <laughs> bro, because my, my mom's very conservative Christian. Yeah. Right. And, you know, of course, it's like get married. Then you have a kid. Right. Literally, my mom blew my mind. It was like a few months ago. I, I, in my head, my mom is the same mom that I grew up with as exactly a kid. Yeah. She mm. thinks the same. There's no evolution of her thinking. And she told me, she's like, you know, if you have a baby with a girl, it's, it's okay. fine. Girl with a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that'll never change. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dress really well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that 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 part will never change. It yeah. has to be yes, yeah, girl. girl yeah. But she's like, if you had a baby with a girl, like it's fine. You you can figure it out. Like figure out the relationship yeah, yeah. after. I was like, she's like, like you know, who one are night you? Stand? Everybody does one night stand now. Like she's bro, gonna move down to that. Like, it's crazy, bro. I'm like, oh my, who are you? You never would allow me to do something or in your mind think that that's okay. Yeah. But I think she just. Is she just wants the grandchild? She just, yeah, she man. wants the granny. Yeah. You know, because it's what your own, your sister only, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, well, right? Me with and my one, brother. One or two? One? She has, she, my one. sister has one. One, yeah, that's right. So Why she has one grandchild. And, and then Steve, you know, he seems like he's, he got a little ways to go too. So it's like, in terms of like, you know, age and availability and everything. So I feel like I just did Steve right now. I, you just straight did <laughs> yeah. Steve right now. I'm like, yo, like, Steve, like listen to this. He might be like, so what Steve, are you I saying, you. bro? What I mean is your mom is starting to lose hope, guys. So get stepping up. I, hey, look, I'm I'm trying to. Should we? Oh, did, I, did you get the text message that I sent you? About, about what? the speed dating? I sent what? you a text. I sent you a, I sent you a thing. Oh, hey, oh no, look hey, at Instagram. Yeah, you down? Okay, yeah. so should we go do, do a speed date? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. whoa. It, Is this a real thing? Vero sent it to me because remember we were like, she, you, she wants me to go with you to be to to find my second wife. No, I'm just kidding. She wants me to be her wingman, right? So I'm just getting in trouble. So this is a real thing. Do you not remember like uh, I don't remember talking about this, it? Yeah. No. So I sent it to you right now. Look on your Instagram. That's why. This is how much she doesn't. Look at my Instagram. No, you know what? Because like, all he ever Instagram DMs me is freaking troll messages. That's why I like just this dis- one's a l- see? disregard his. You can't stuff. look at it like that. It's like wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I can mediate right here. This is why I'm a special, uh, special. <laughs> yes, guest right Mike's here. our therapist. Special. I'm gonna send this to Mike too. So Ben kept repeating. Wait, are you serious? Because his eyes were in- interested in saying, "Wait, are you fucking with me?" Because he serious? normally Cause, trolls me with yeah, stuff. Yeah, which proves that but, you troll him. But here's the thing. We already discussed this with my wife where he was like, we we're talking about it. Oh, in person? You guys and, and about, about speed dating and going to, going to singles and mixers and stuff. Wow. And he was like, oh, like, and I was like, I'll be your wingman. And then I'll just be the wingman until um, I become too drunk and then I'll be an asshole and then I get kicked out uh, and I leave. Like 40-year-old like, oh, so version. It'll be... You'll... No, no, no. I'll be a good... Like good like vibes for you and whoever the group or whatever like you're like until until I'm not needed anymore and my exit will be I'll just get pissed drunk and then you know, you know I'd be down <laughs> because I'd, if I well, if I act myself 100 percent dude all the a lot of girls are gonna start liking uh, me, it, so it just like how, <laughs> just like if you get if, if Ryan get gets sexy if Ryan gets sexy out, that's why I don't work out every <laughs> is this what you play or what. Oh, you, babe, you, I'm you, like, babe, you, you, you know, know how many girls me. will come at me if I actually took care of myself? You're lucky I disrespect yeah. my body, my health. I'm doing well, this for the knows, good of mankind. Thailand, I was like, dude, I think I'm pretty hot in Thailand. She's like, yeah. Because all the lady boys are coming up to you? Lady boys are looking at me too, dude. All of them. Because I'm checking them out until I turn, they turn around and have a beard. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, shoot. I, I don't doubt yeah, that. Can you move your beard so I can see your tits? Yeah, no, can you tuck it in more? God, I can see it. That's, oh, sorry. That's weird. And it's you weird that you touched me. Yeah, you, just foot, you just footseed me after you said that. That's even weird. So, yeah, let's go. Like, I sent you the guys, both of it. It's in, uh, let me see. It's in September. Oh, they have a couple of them. So, oh, it's in Arts District, Little Tokyo. Okay. Oh, okay. Little Tokyo is a nice area. Okay. So here goes. <laughs> Are you down? Do you want to do it? Okay, here goes. Oh, hey, hetero, hetero matches. For the sake of uh, 36 the 36 to 45, uh, 9-6. Wait, 36 to 45? What does that mean? 36 to 45? Age? Uh, ages. That's wait, just... I'm 34. Ooh, wait, enough. wait, hold on. I'll lie. Does that mean that you have to fall in that category, or does that mean you can enter into the 25 to 35 I'm try- category? I'm, hey, I'm trying to... 25 to 35. Y- younger than that. 25 to 35. All right, let me make a snapshot, because I can't... This thing is moving too fast. The dates are like... All right. All right, yeah, we got we, we got to date girls with hope still. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> what is okay, man, you don't this, this one's on me, guys. That's no, no, no. I agree right with there. you. I agree with you. Hey, look, let's yeah. be real here, okay? They have these events. So I'll read it right here, okay? So it's uh, hetero matches. That means, right, a uh, boy and girl, right? Uh, ages 36 to 45. Yes. Boy, Speed yeah, dating and me. match. Make, not for people who are listening or whatever. 9-6. Arts district. Stupid, guys. Okay? 9-14, hetero matches. 26 to 35. Speed dating and matchmaking, arts district. What does that mean? Twenty six. Is that the age, age range? range. Age range. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see twenty six to thirty five. Yeah, yeah, I'm Let's down for that. I'm down yeah. for that age group. Yeah, man. You don't want. You don't want. There to is a. a there, no, there is a There's hetero a matches nine twenty eight. Hetero matches thirty one to forty. That's a good range. And you might. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a good range. I'm yeah. down for that range. Thirty one, and you'll fall into that range too. Yeah. <laughs> twenty five year olds are not going to be coming to this event, guys. Like. They're they're I, getting on I, I, hinge I'm, and I'm probably not trying to mess with a 25 year old. Yeah, because so. they're they're very immature. But at the same time, uh, this is how my, I told Vera. I was like, what if there's like a banging ass girl that's like all into me? She's like, hey, go have fun, babe. <laughs> so, <laughs> support Ben. <laughs> support Ben. She okay, so not, what age range do you want to do? Uh, the, the, the 31 to what? 40? What? 31 oh, to 40. 31 to 40. You want 40. to 31 yeah. to 40? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's do the let's do the same one. Look. You want you want a, you want the ones that are at least thirty because no for sure yeah 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 they have jobs and stuff and like 
you know. We'll do it for the podcast, man. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not actually like. I'm doing it for the experience. That. So we wear like lapel mics, and I'm like undercover. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll, like we'll make we'll make some content. We have no budget, so we can't do that. <laughs> That's why we need. Unless sponsors. we rent it on Amazon, <laughs> or on Timu. Or on Timu. <laughs> Spy gear. Timu is not. Gear. Timu is not not rentable. Amazon is. Anyways. Well, yeah, maybe that'll be the thing for us to uh, figure out our um, our childlessness, which is what our parents are. Well, do you? Let me ask you this: If if and do you want kids? We didn't even ask you, dude. You're, you're kind of young, though, so. Oh, no, young on the younger than us. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I'm 34, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not even really that ready for a relationship like that. But the older I get, I'm starting to be like, play with the idea of being open to that. Of course, I have to be with the right person, I have to be good in the financial you know, position. But before I was no kids, period. Oh, okay. Now, no kids, period. Right. None. Oh, you're yeah. open to it now? The reason why I said none is because I was still at the very, very beginning. I feel like I just started my career, even though it's been five years, but I feel I was at the beginning of the very beginning before like, anything was really happening. And, uh, and like, it was just so hard. I, I was like, there's no way I'm going to put this on my kid if I have a kid. Because, you know, I see what happens when parents resent their kid because they don't have time to do the things they want to do. And it gets weird. And I don't want to do that to my kid. No. So I was in that mind state, m- mindset, but uh, I don't you know. don't want to repeat the you don't want to repeat the cycle, right? Yeah, kind of like that, you know. And uh, but that's then, why we all grew up. But now. the older I get now, I'm like, I don't know if it's because it's like a biological thing, right? Like, oh, like keep your bloodline alive, mm. mixed with me coming to terms with some things. Do you like Korean girls? Do you date Korean girls or Asian girls? I it's funny. The second time I got asked this this week, but you look like I, a Mexican girl, kind of. My last I, could, I could see he was like into the Latinas. Yeah. I did. My last girlfriend was Mexican, and I really okay. like Latinas. But at my age, I really am seeing you know because like you know my grandma just died, and my other grandma's in the hospital, and like my mom's getting older. So like I'm I'm like I'm like terrified of losing the Korean culture. Mm, so I'm thinking about that, and I'm like, no, I like. Like I love, I've I've grown into loving my culture versus before I was like embarrassed about it. Just because I was, you know, I'm embarrassed about being Korean because Asians were treated like shit, right? Yeah. So like, the older I get, the more I'm like, dude, I I want that, I want that stuff. So that's what I'm thinking about now. But you know, I haven't really met a Korean girl that uh, you know, is okay with somebody like what I'm. Doing. What types of girls do you find like you sort of attract the most? I don't know, girls with like a. Like fetish for Asian girls, <laughs> so, like, girls that girls that, wise, girls that like uh, girls that like you know like I'm I'm a pretty loud mouth like fun guy so they like that but um I don't know I, just, I attract the cook I like okay. why'd you make your eyes go towards that <laughs> direction <laughs> oh over there yeah because she knows she knows <laughs> I've already talked about it. Dude, I'm just digging myself deeper. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't All say right. one thing. You are fucking alley you slam dunking yeah. yourself. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, oops, sorry yeah, again. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's something that is ongoing. But, you know, anyone that knows, and you'll get to know. Like, right now, Vero, for you, is like, oh, this is Mike. He's a guy. Like, he's new here. So I'm going to be the, the the least of, like, Vero intensity. Okay. And you'll, you'll see it. You know, you'll get I'm ready. it. You'll get it. I want to see. Like, you know, you're trying to leave at 11, 30, 12 o'clock, and she's just like, stay one, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. And you, then you end up being here until 3. You know, it's like. Oh, one of those. Yeah, you know, she got that oh, energy. she's a social, she loves, social, she, she's a social, social butterfly. She social loves. Life. I see, I see. Yeah. The fact that she doesn't even know that P's about to go to a, a, a movie after this. Yeah. Oh, she's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> She's gonna be, the movies. The movies. She's, gonna be, there, she's not gonna not be happy about it. I, I, I put that money right now. She's not gonna be happy about it. Yeah. But anyways. But also, but I'll say this. But I'm not trying to force a Korean relationship to happen either because that can go horribly wrong as well. If you try to force love with a specific type of person, you know what I mean? Do you find yeah. uh, ethnicity? Does that play a lot into who you're naturally attracted to, or does that not matter? Um, I do have a fucking strong polarized magnetism towards latina specifically i think it's because like i like the culture so much and it's like a nice blend with close family which i didn't have it's also family. very similar to asian culture yeah latin culture very, is very, but, but very louder similar. and much more that's true close knit that's true they part like, they party uh like, like we're pretty loud too we, we party that's that's true we party no but i'm talking we're talking, i'm talking about like immigrant parents though uh. 
that's not so much. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I mean, what do you what do you want? What do you like? Well, so when I was younger, maybe because my mom brainwashed me into like only Korean. Yeah. So I guess that was what I was I was attracted to only Korean Korean girls. Oh, okay. Um but as years progressed, I'm like, yo, there are beautiful women of yeah. every culture. And you got the look where other like I'm certain people are like super Korean or super Asian where like You'll get like a certain brand of Hispanic girls or a certain brand of black or white girls that like you. But I feel like you can get from like the ones that are very, very Asian or like very like uh, like Asian kind of or like leaning towards or like very hood too. Like you could get some girls that are hood that like, like you too because you got that, that hood swag too. What does that mean, dude? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you... That's a good I... thing. He's, say, he's saying universal. he's saying he's saying you would you look like you would date a hood rat. No, I'm saying <laughs> He's saying you have the look you, you have no. the look of a guy that dates hot but but really stupid hood ass. Wait. Uh, he's just <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No one's a lot gonna of be on to what you said. No, 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 no that's what exactly what came out of his mouth. What no, I'm, I'm saying about, guys. Is, is that if I feel like a girl that's super like into like like K pop and Fobby looking and into the white like skin might will like your look. But it also a girl. I don't that's think super... so. I don't, I don't think I, I I get the. But like see the now that the, the Fabi the look Fobby. is starting go, to shift into the hip hop grimy. Is it? More. Is it though? Other than like the, I'm saying, is it? I'm not talking about like BTS and those like pop the pop guys. I'm talking yeah. about like like the hip hop scene there is getting really like. Oh, is that is that getting bigger? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely getting bigger. It's like the like, it's just not as mainstream because BTS and Blackpink and all the other ones take over because they're mainstream but yeah. I, there's pockets of like gr there's groups you know like girl rappers and guy rappers that focus only on hip-hop hip-hop style where i'm watching all these new like like these korean girls like p hitting like hits like hard hits but they're like they're like dressed like super baggy super hip-hop style like huh. like you know they got uh, what do you call it their hair is all braided corn like rose? you know like cornrows yeah like appropriation wow. you know like i don't know if that's good but, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. But what I'm saying is that fob, like, like that style is like the hip hop style is getting kind of a lot bigger in Korea, where it's like now it's it's like shikshi to have that like style, you know, like interesting. Whereas that's before interesting. we would go there and we'd look like, oh, they're they're dancers, or they're they're they must be like ar like hit, like artists or dancers or some breakers or something like if we dress baggy because everyone was else looked different from from like dancers and hip hop. So that's the popular style now. You're yeah. saying, hey, I'm just, I'm just <clears throat> taking in the info. I'm like, you just told me that like, hood, hood girls, as well as the Fabi girls. <laughs> I said you just have a universal Korean look. I look very Korean. This moment, he looks super Korean. Like we both look very Korean. Like, yeah, yeah, you, don't, yeah. you know. So I, yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. so like a Filipino girl might like like you more. Like we might have to well, work. A little I thought bit Ben was Filipino. There you go. Why? I, I, you I, look I, Filipino. You dress Filipino. Oh, whoa, whoa, You talk whoa. Filipino, you American. Fili How do Filipinos dress? Like you. Like you. <laughs> like me. I, I know I have a lot of Filipino friends, and I know there, cool. there's, there's specific Filipinos that dress 100% like you. You, just, you the same type of hat style, it. the yeah. glasses. Like I, I know like five Filipino dudes with the same uh, glasses frame. <laughs> you're, a you're, you're not a right Am I not real Korea? You're, right you're, you're, well? you're, you're, you're from the Philippines. <laughs> I am I not am from Benjamin, the Philippines. Benjamin, Benjamin. I can't. That was the worst. That's you're gonna yeah. get in trouble for doing some whack Filipino accent. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah. I get more in trouble for doing it whack. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, dude. You know, so I, I, I've been told that, like, they say, uh, I guess I don't know. My, my, my complexion. Give a forever tan. Complexion's a little bit darker than most yeah. Koreans. You have you uh, rice field the skin. Tan. Dude, as soon as I step in the sun, bro, I just get a tan. Yeah, dude. You have, you know what you have? You have manual labor skin. That you have North Korean concentration <laughs> camp skin. That is interesting. I, I was gonna say like transition lenses skin, like you say, like, hey, you know, manual under, labor skin. Hey, you know what though? I agree. You know why? When I have friends that are like yeah. in the office, like my friends are uh, white collar jobs, they're they're pale. And then whenever they're like, "Dude, you're so tan," I'm like, "Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a manual laborer. Like I work in the." I work outside. I, I'm always driving, picking up packages, doing stuff like that. Like, so yeah, yeah. But you're more built for that because you're naturally more tan, so you have more melanin for protection against the sun. 
Oh, okay. I'll take so that's what I mean. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take, I don't know, man. Yeah, look at this guy. This makes, guy was fucking Make me somehow feel like dude, I'm scared. I, I know, dude. dude. Turn red. I'm like ahi tuna. Just. Do you got? Yeah, you just. Are you? Do you? Do your skin type? Do you get sunburnt? I get sunburnt. I get tanned. And before sunburn. I get, I rarely get. Burned. I rarely. Are you get serious? Burned. Yeah, like I rarely get. Sunburned. I only get burned on my on my shoulders. That's the only times I've ever gotten burnt, and that's like a burn one day. It'll peel up next day. It tans, like it's gone. Like no. yeah, I don't really. I'm burn. a tanner too. I just get dark. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm. I should be like I'm. I'm on more on the your side, but I, I feel yeah. like I can like go back and forth. Like if I stay in, like winter time, I get a little lighter. But you just got that forever. Oh, <laughs> Three sixty-five. I'm tanning, telling you, you know? he, you're you're genetically built. For the fields, <laughs> yes. Like, uh, <laughs> no, because if you don't get sunburned at all, <laughs> like you've been running these days, right? I have yeah, been yeah. Running, you're not. Yeah. And do you put sunscreen? sunscreen? <laughs> do you put sunscreen on? I do yeah, put sunscreen. Yeah, on. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah, I put help, sunscreen help. on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, you gotta put the sunscreen yeah. on. But um, but you haven't gotten. I mean, okay. So, because before there was a time where you were doing it in um, Australia. Where you got really dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you wearing any sunblock or sunscreen during no, that time? No, which is oh. dumb. See, right now you look like your like your normal complexion. Okay. During that time, you look like, like, no way. Straight Filipino. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. where I got. You yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 like I remember that, yeah. I posted. I I would post stuff on IG and stuff like that. Someone told me that, like, bro, you look like Lil Wayne. Just... I'm like, what the freak? Yeah. <laughs> I look like Lil Wayne. What do you mean? Do you have a photo? Oh, when you were that like super cut? Uh, it's in my phone somewhere. I'm oh man, pull that he out. was super cut. Oh like, really? Super cut. Lil Wayne super cut. Yeah, 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 he is super cut. But he's super yeah. unhealthy. That's why he's cut. But he was like healthy cut. He was like, I think that was like your most fit, right? When you were in. Um, yeah, dude. When you were in. Uh, trying to get back to Australia. that. I'm trying to get back to that. It's tough I'm though. I'm more my side now these days. It's tough. Like it's it. tough as you get older, man. Oh. You know. So I'm trying to get in marathon shape, dude. How is it going? It's it's hard, man. Like. Wait, wait, which one is it again? It's the, the Long, Long Beach. Beach Marathon. It's in October. A full marathon? You guys want to support Ben? Be at the, we're going to be at the... the yeah, y'all could be at the... The finish line? the finish line, yeah. Um, I've never done a full marathon. I've done a half wow. marathon. I wow. did the um, Pasadena Rose Bowl half marathon in okay. 2021. 13.1 um, miles, man. It's, so this is 26.2. So I've been training. It's not as easy as it was... Not What's that, average? Not, not that it's not that even training for the half was easy, but things just like it's taking a lot longer. So I gotta just, I feel like it's it's dying. Yeah, but more yeah, a lot more going on these days too. Because when you I did do. that tra- that marathon, it was bro, just during the pandemic. Yeah, bro, so like, you I literally yeah. was doing nothing. Yeah. So I was like, so I'm like just gonna freaking day. run seven all miles, day long. Seven miles. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's it's tougher now because you know I gotta like schedule that run time in. But you be there? We're gonna be there. Uh, I don't want to wait for him all day at a line. Yeah, yeah, we just show up at, you know, at the... Oh, wait, wait, hey, are you almost done? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll be we'll there. Meet, we'll meet at, like, I'll probably at get halfway, to, and I'm like, hey. I'll probably get to the finish line, because I'm going to... Uh, I would Texas. assume <laughs> it starts at, what, like, 6 a.m. or something like that? Yeah. I'll probably get to the finish line around, like, 10.30, 11, I don't Damn. know. You're looking at... So your, your, I'm your trying goal to get is five. What's under, average? Under five, What's bro? average? So I did the, the half in uh, under two. It was an hour 57. Wow, so, nonstop jogging? Nonstop. And I had a in, I had an injured foot. I had plantar fasciitis in my foot. And it was like after like five, the fifth mile, my my left foot was just throbbing wow. with pain. And it, so it, it's such like a mental thing. So the thing with marath- oh, no. or people who run those like long distances, it's not healthy for you. Your body's not meant to oh, like. No. Not at all, yeah. You're literally It'll shut down punishing right your body. Yeah, but it's more of a mental thing. So I'm like, hey, can I can I do a full marathon? So I'm just gonna go. You just want to do it as your like bucket list, like your test yeah. yourself. You want to yeah. see what you're yeah. not bucket list, but like your. It life is a book. bucket list, but it's like know. a bucket list sounds so like at the end of your like at the end you gotta you know two years to do it. It's but you like, know what I I so I've been running. Let's with, say bucket um, list. I've been no, you can say that. Uh, <laughs> I've been training with a uh, Koreatown Running Club. Uh, shout out Creatown Run Club, mm-hmm. um, but dude, there are freaking superhumans. With in this, yeah. I, because I think like I'm in decent shape, like I'm like above just average. Mm-hmm. But when I'm over there, I'm like these people like literally are like sprinting, and they're just they don't stop at that pace. I'm just like, how the freak can y'all like run like this? So 
for me, I think it's better for me to train with people who are like way better than me because I think that actually pushes me to oh, even yeah. level up my own ability because mm. I'm like, okay, if they're going that hard, I got to push myself a little, at least a little bit harder. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like so I'm training with those guys, and um, I think I think a few of them are gonna be running the same uh, same race as me. So I'm like, all right, let me let me let me let me get with these guys and and see what well, I can well, do. Well, you know well, what I, mean? I mean, you know, me and Vera will be there at least. I don't know if we can wait the whole time, but we'll be there. Just show up at the finish we'll line. We'll show up dude. at the finish. We'll Is there a half some, point where we'll we grab yeah. some brunch? Oh. Yeah, there. Wouldn't that be fun though if you grabbed something and it was tequila? <laughs> Oh, you said this is in Long Beach, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's close to me. Shit, I might, I might be. At would the you get mad there. or would you laugh? Would you be like, "Oh, you mad bastard, Ryan"? I, I might get mad because I'm like, "This is gonna mess with my <laughs> yeah. performance." No, I'm not gonna. What if, be able what if Vera was at the next one, real quick? With the I wouldn't water. be mad if it was at the finish line because I'll be sick. All right, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll give me, do give that. me a tequila shot at the finish. Is that what line. people do though? Can you? Drive? Will you shut down? Will like your body? Will you just? Oh like... yeah, bro. Alcohol. This is like it makes you dehydrated. Oh, dude, I can't do that. Yeah. But at the, at the finish line, you know what's dope at the um, the Rose Bowl half? They have they had a beer garden at mm. the thing. Bro, who is your phone? It's, on, it's been it's this like the fourth time. It's oh, little... it's me. Yes, I didn't even. You, you didn't know? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was just know. waiting for you to realize it was you. That's why I didn't say anything. I I honestly don't look at my phone all the day. All day I just leave it and then I hear it. I just don't pay attention. Sorry. Well, my bad. You're, you're, that's a podcast, uh, noob, new, right newbie, there. newbie. Yeah. Mistake. Like one oh one. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah. So marathon, we're going to be there. Yeah, what yeah. do you want? What do you want there? You want tequila? You want beer? You want, give me a tequila. You want an in and out? You want, you, oh no, no, you don't like in and out. You, you want a Shake Shack burger? Give me a Shake Shack burger. We'll go eat Shake Shack for, for brunch. Oh, for brunch. Okay. I like yeah, that. It's brunch time. It's Not like, like 3, 3 p.m. 11 I'd be like, hey, we'll go, we'll go to Shake Shack for dinner for are, Hell yeah! What, what 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 team are you on? Shake Shack, In and Out. I like both. Safe answer. But the closest one next to me is In and Out, so I'll, I'll go to In and Out all the time. There is no close Shake Shack in Torrance. So you're going based off of distance? Hell yeah, I am. So then you like Shake Shack better? You're saying? No, no. I said In and Out's closest to me, so I go there all the time. There so is no nearby Shake Shack. The same. So that's what I'm saying. You're saying because there's no nearby Shake Shack, is that you're in and out. So let's say they're both exact same distance. Which one are you going to I'm probably going to go to in and out more. But it doesn't mean I don't like Shake Shack. Is it, okay, that's fine. Is yeah, it yeah, because yeah. of like the taste or is it because of the price? Price I, and, I know, price, I know price Shake and Shack's health more wise. expensive. Price and health wise. Because in and out tastes healthier to me. But I really love the taste uh, of Shake Shack. Shake Shack is greasy as hell. Like, yeah, but that's why it yeah, tastes that's good. True. That's true. Yeah. But like yeah. you know when they wrap it in that paper, like I took it from New York first time I had it, New York to back to LA. When I took it out to give it to one of my exes, like uh, it was like literally clear paper because it's so greasy. Like you can see through it. You could see through it. Yeah, I guess you're right. But yeah, we'll do that. Anyways, I want to talk. She about, liked that one too. Can I? Like, can we? Can we talk about my audiologist test today? I went to an audiologist. A what? A what? So an audiologist is someone that does the the testing for your hearing specifically the hearing beep. test oh yeah yeah to see if you have any hearing damage or the health of your why did you do this because i've been my tinnitus you know tinnitus the ringing in the ears yeah oh. so i have this I have, it's called tinnitus mm -hmm. I've, I've had tinnitus get worse over the last six months or so where i would hear you know sometimes it goes like ee, real loud and it kind of goes away that's you losing a frequency but then it just kept doing that and then and then it got to the point where it would just stay like just kind of ringing for a while well, I'd always hear it at nighttime. Nighttime, just at nighttime, people are like, "Oh, let me wow. just relax. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm gonna relax." And then when it's quiet, all I hear is in my left ear. And then I and then I started getting paranoid, thinking I think I'm losing my hearing. Maybe I don't know what this means because it was kind of like freaking me out. But I waited for six months, and then I went to my primary care doctor because I have a HMO. I, I had to wait. And then mm -hmm. he's like, oh, "We'll refer you to an ENT, which is ear, nose, throat doctor." Mm -hmm. And then they're like, "Well, your ears look healthy physically inside." But we'll send you to an audiologist to make sure you're not losing your hearing or whatever the fuck. And I went to the audiologist today, did all the tests, um, all the beep beep. You have to repeat words, blah blah. And good news, my hearing's normal. Um, because normally tinnitus is associated with hearing loss. Yeah, but what could it be then? Uh, what just well, people get that for whatever reason. I mean, because tinnitus is there is no set thing that they know what the cause of it is for people that it lasts for like a while. Cause a lot of times it's like you go from a loud place to a quiet place and yeah, your yeah. brain takes a while to adjust 
which is why you hear that it takes a, it, it has to learn to to adapt to the new environment from is that because you maybe because you're like next to those big ass speakers on stage i thought it might have been that but i realized also here's here's an interesting thing for you guys to keep in mind he told me that he had a, a patient who had moderate hearing loss in his left ear moderate meaning like a good amount mm -hmm. right like like a decent amount mm -hmm. of hearing loss because he would drive every day with the window open so the wind the wind pressure hits the ear truck drivers Whoa, it hits their I ear always drive with my windows open like where you hear the like that that's damaging your your hearing but no if, are you driving on the freeway going like 80 no, miles no, I don't drive yeah, because i think that's like oh, yeah that, so that's, that's, that's like, like thing it's like high wind yeah, yeah, like yeah 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 exactly so like freeway sense. type shit. even us wearing like airpods and all that stuff it's like Beats with by Dre, like is I'm that? Not lying. Should it's you head, have like that much? This whole time that you're talking about it, I, I feel like I'm hearing. Because <laughs> really now you're paying attention. Now I'm paying attention. Yeah, well, like, if you're not paying attention to it, then you don't notice it, right? Uh, but if you're trying to hear it, everybody kind of has some amount of it. it. Doesn't a lot of people have it, but you have to start. Uh, you, you gotta be careful when it gets really loud, but also the the severity of the loudness also has to do with stress level. You know, like like Each. if you exercise super hard. I mean, it could get a little worse with age. Um, who knows, right? So for me, I would notice sometimes it gets worse when I don't sleep much, and then I, I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious at times. So then I, I hear like the like it almost pulsates at times. Mm -hmm. There's arteries here. I found that too. There's arteries going along. Wait, pulsates right here where like you're right here. No, no, the, the the tinnitus like has like a pulse pulsing like like. Oh. Like, like that, oh, like to the heartbeat because like we have because we have out. arteries yeah. around. The ear, I found out today I too. So so aware of my hearing right now, I feel like I'm hearing <laughs> ringing. Yeah, right. But but also it's it's just you know that's why I understand why people wear those little earplugs at concerts because oh yeah you want to protect your hearing. Oh yeah. I thought it was weird at first, but now I'm like I'm trying to bring that shit to concerts or or, or bars where I do shows where it's too. I I literally shoved because they were playing drums in a small bar and it was hurting my ears. I, I I ripped napkins and I shoved them in my ears and I did stand up with napkins in my ears. <laughs> Whoa. I, I have ear damage because I did uh, seven to eight years of, of club promoting and all the, Damn. All every the security night? guard. No, not every night. It was uh, Friday or Fridays, Saturdays or Fridays and Thursdays. But that's hours, every, every hours, week, hours every week. Yeah, yeah and that's a lot. I remember looking at all the security guards when they would have their earplugs and I would call them bitches. They're like, bitches. And then now I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, Any extra? Daryl will straight up talk to me while I'm like, like literally like watching TV I'm on my phone and she'll be saying something to me she'll say it three times and I won't even hear it and I'm like dude I'm not it's not that I'm not paying attention to you because I hear everything that's going on it's just something about my hearing is maybe it's selective actually <laughs> no no but also <laughs> <laughs> you just, well you're married I just you're don't married. hear her yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also that ties in with the phone thing because that was like three or four times because me and Ben have normal No, hearing. yeah, I legit so was like, we kept bro, hearing you it, right? phone on silent yeah. or what? So maybe maybe your hearing is damaged, so you, you well, notice also, it, but you don't yeah, feel it's it. It's also because I'm not, I'm, not I'm not thinking like, I heard it, but I was like, I didn't know it was me. I just heard something. Because there's, I have, I when I watch my streaming videos, yeah. like for gaming, I'll have friends being like, hey, res me. Can you res me? Res, res, res. But if they don't physically say, actually say, Ryan. Res me. I don't know that they're talking to me. I'm just like in my own world, like playing. What's res me? Res me, like uh, resurrect. Oh, resurrect. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. If they're dead. From being dead. So yeah. So it was just yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm working on it. Maybe we should clean our ears later after. Maybe I'd like. Yeah, we you, should. You were showing me uh your one of your video of your freaking ear cleaning thing. Yeah, because it has like a video camera and it's like an Amazon thing for twenty bucks. It has, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, Mark, yeah. Mark's showing us. I have thing. the same exact one that Ryan okay, has, guys. but that thing works real like wonders. It? it got all the earwax out of my ear dude i just use the korean bamboo stick with the little scoopy thing that's dangerous because you don't even know why how far to go it feels so good dude. we should just buy but that feels good too but then you can see and then sell them up like, fucking flip them yeah flip i have i have a weird thing like one of my favorite sensations is cleaning out my ears then get that's that's so it. satisfying but you know it's it's only it's when someone else does it for me uh, dude can we, why don't we try it right now you want you want to clean my ears? Let's check your ear. Let's literally check his ear right now not, to see how much it. We don't have to get all of it up, but we should look at his ear after. Yeah. After why not right now on the, on the oh, right now? It'll be hard. Just real quick, we have to set up uh, the app and stuff, and we have a lot of dead time. Really? Unless we just do it, and then we, we'll do it on one of your guys. Is that? Charge it. Can we charge it right now while we wait? Then I don't think this one has some some uh, no. We battery should we should charge already. it to be safe. 
Oh, dude, dude, we're gonna check your ears, man. Dude, it I'm works on my app. It's I'm the same so thing. excited for this right now. Yeah. Do your ears ever itch? A little bit. Sometimes, and, and it could be the that's earwax. When I, that's when I do it. You're gonna have a like. But I, I, I clean my, I clean my ears out like once a week ish. Is it bad? Like, what's it look like? Jackson Pollock or? No, it's not a lot. Oh, mine's like pretty like, like. How how deep do you get in there? You don't even know, right? I don't know. You I'm can't tell. Bamboo. Exactly. So watch. Yo, know, if, if if my head gets blown with all the freaking junk in my ears. That actually make me. That would actually make. But if we're gonna do, it, we might as well do it yeah. live on camera. Yeah. All right, fine. Here, Ben, get on this Let's side. Let's do it. Yeah, get on this side. What is this? Oh, oh shit! Sorry, I didn't know. He's trying to, you wanted to. I the, thought I put my you bottle want, here. You want him to go up. deaf? I'm trying to sabotage. I didn't know my ear. Oh, your ear is so hairy. Why is my ear so hairy? Cause you're old. <laughs> Damn it! It's fine. Other no. side. Your 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 right ear is clean. Let's I, get your uh, let's get your left ear ready. 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 If my dude, what if my left is just crazy and my right is chilling? Dude, you have clean ears basically. Dude. It's not really. Yeah, dude, your this ear is so hairy. I have it right there. It's not much though. I have a boner right now. Dude, don't <laughs> fucking say that. You weirdo. <laughs> what the fuck? You're you're so <laughs> gentle. You're so gentle with I'm good this. Good at that, dude. I'm good. I'm sorry. You're hitting an erogenous zone or something. <laughs> Dude, my hair nah, right dude, here. I got a, I got a dude, Brazilian. Dude, you don't have anything. Well, that's, that, that's something. That's a chunk. Gotta... Okay, hold on. But I have this. Dude, this ear is fine too. Yo, you got pubes in your ears, dude. See, you can see the eardrum right there. You see that shit? Like okay. right, a little right, thing or right, right there. You see that? Right there, the eardrum. clear, clear thing right there. You see it clear no, right there? I yeah, that's your eardrum. The so eardrum. there's still a lot of space before you get down there because I've done it enough. Look up, go up though, go up. You'll see a little drummer. You stupid as fuck. I got like a weird thing over there. All right, guys, that was uneventful. <laughs> all right. Well, good news is we all have clean ears. We all have clean ears. But all three of you have super hairy ass ear canals. We're good. Well, we tried, guys. Yeah, I um, was hoping that I would have earwax. I was so excited for you. Because I wanted to see what it like. Or Dude, you know what I want? I'm just going to save this. <laughs> you freak i had a feeling my ears were clean because i i cleaned my ears pretty regularly but yeah. i was hoping that that thing would show me things that i'm missing well because yeah, i thought because yeah. i used q-tips so i thought i was pushing stuff Don't in but, use yeah. but it's wet because once i spin it it like it gets it's like a it's like cotton candy <laughs> like when i pull it out I was like, ew Whoa. dude <laughs> ew <laughs> That's yeah so i'm surprised because normally that does impact you the have earwax. uh wet or dry earwax we didn't do it it's more wet no I, I i did it like a few days ago there's nothing oh there. but we didn't I, see I have him. earwax but i showed him the video dude, of your video the old wild. one that your, when yeah. i first did it you want to throw up that shit was crazy yeah we'll just use your video <laughs> no use it use it. it's good <laughs> like it's good we'll use your video for me I'll use it for and then we'll just reverse it, reverse it for me. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about just not doing it for like a year just to collect this. So I can, it, it's so satisfying no, when you I do it. I might do that. I might do it's that. It's like, it's weirdly satisfying, like the Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, why do we like seeing it's disgusting gross. things? It's like so that. gross, but I love watching you, it. You know what I think it is? It's yeah. kind of like, a, you know, it's a I'm, relief. Ah. Oh. Because we've all yeah. been there. We're yeah. like, we're like, you know, like but squeezing also, your pimples. Yeah. We're like, uh, we're not, we're descendants of uh, like uh, apes, right? Yeah. Chimps, apes, whatever. Guess, we're, yeah. we're not, we're not that far off from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just, you just added it. another 30 minutes. <laughs> you don't think so? You don't think so? Right <laughs> He's going to miss his, his movie right now. Are we talking about like, like evolution? Should we add this? Oh, is this evolution versus this religion? Nah, dude, I got a movie to catch, got bro. A movie to catch. <laughs> we're gonna pit. We're gonna pit know, but now that he knows where you stand on that, we're it's gonna cool. definitely. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Keep it's going. going. Keep you're going. good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I believe going. it too, but look, no, all I was gonna say based off of that, before I get before I get crucified by Ben, is I was just saying that they do like like a grooming to bond. And grooming oh, process. Is it the, 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 yeah, eat, the fleas off of each other. Yeah, but that, that's like a bonding process, also. Like that's what out. Uh, that's what the what, what males do to males, females, male. Whatever. Yeah, we take baths together other. all the time. So no, just, we just <laughs> now we have three. That's awesome. Three of us. Now we can all wash our backs at the same time. It's amazing. Yeah, give me uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, I, let's do don't cheese at Wee Spot. Don't like cheese at Wee Spot. He's still thinking about that. No, I'm not, man. It's all good, bro. Uh, I'm just but but you feel you look like you're almost relieved and sad like like happy. I was a, I was a little scared. I was a little scared. Like I don't know what's in there still. Yeah yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean, I've never had a camera all up in my ear. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was that was interesting.
But that means you do a really good job with the bamboo one blindly. Yeah, I think I just have a, a natural sort of. That's like, crazy. Yeah, I a just, little. I can sense it. You like yeah. ice cream? Ice cream, like yeah. you know, like the pint. You like the Turkish, the Turkish people. Yeah, I get the sensitivities on my ear. I used to do that. Wow. Yeah. With meth, and he's like chest scraping. With meth, crystal. Maybe that's why you, because you say you have to get a skin grafts on your gums, right? Yeah. Yes, maybe. Or it's because I brush my teeth like I'm freaking fast. Like, like the now. way you talk? I, I just went like this. If you, yeah. teeth, if you brush your teeth with the way you talk. That with no audio is yeah, going to be a I funny did, video. Did, did, so, <laughs> but yeah, like, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, I, uh, anyways, yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. But, okay, got yeah, it. Got yeah, it. Yeah, we're, getting, we're getting old. It's sensitive. So. It's sensitive. We'll talk about it next Yeah, time. but the good news is, guys, my hearing's normal. Uh, there's a slight tiny dip, which in my left ear, there's a slight tiny, tiny, tiny dip, which he said could just be your normal hearing. Uh, don't worry about it. He just said, but you're still good. So you're that, good that now, relieved yeah. me. It relieved me. That's why you got to face your fear, your, your problems and find out what the fuck it is. That's it. No. That's the moral of today. And story. you're young. So you got a couple of years before it starts falling apart. So. You know, yeah, then, then I'll hit you up. I'll be like, hey, what yeah. is it like to have your body just die in oh, front of geez. you? <laughs> yeah, I'm dying. I was like, literally, I'm dying. Like, Who's older? He is. But he's definitely in a better shape. Than yeah, him. he looks way younger than you, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't say anything, dude. Wait a minute. I don't know about you. Way younger. Maybe, like, people don't usually get uh, c confused with his age. More of his his race. Like, they know he's <laughs> my age, like, around that age. Like, Do they? Why am I so ambiguously, like, people just don't get who I am? You could be straight up Korean or Guatemalan, like it's crazy. Like Guatemalan, like or no, not Guatemalan. Uh, there's certain like, uh, like Latin countries that have like an Asian look to them, which is like Guam. Sorry, Guam. Uh, Guam. 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 Yeah, yeah, Guam. Yeah, yeah, they have okay, like this okay, Asian okay, look okay. to them, you know. So like, I feel like if you were like, yeah, I'm, I'm Ben from Guam, like that would be like people. Like, oh yeah, like I, I you know see what it, it is. It's that fucking patch of hair you have on your chin. You got a patch of hair on his face too. No, but something about this, you. This is like Korean. It's like right here on the tip. You got the Filipino, like the non, you know, the full, you know. I feel like Filipinos <laughs> might get offended from this episode, man. No, they won't. I already said that they're dope. No, Filipinos have a great cool. sense of humor. I, I hang out with Filipinos all the time. I, I make a lot of Filipino content. Yeah, and, and they repost my stuff shout the, 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 the bigger. Shout, shout out to all my Filipinos. Because like, if you. Most of them were like, Ben's not Filipino. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually I get that a lot from a lot of Filipino homies. Yeah. Too. Wait, you're not Filipino, yeah, <laughs> right? Like, that's what I'm saying. After like 15 that's years of knowing you. So shout out to the Filipinos, man. Well, uh, guys, I'm glad our ears are clean. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm gonna work on being a better Korean. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna work on being light skinned. That's what he's gonna yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna never go out in the sun. And um, oh, and you're gonna you're gonna do your marathon five 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 mile uh, five hours. Under five under hours, five hours under is five the hours. goal. Cool. Full, marathon. The goal. Full, full marathon. Full marathon yeah. under five hours is yeah. the goal. Amazing. I'm, I'm going to try to get a close, as close to four hours as possible. So Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got to get my training up. But uh, that's it, man. This was a fun catch up. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while since us three were just, you know, yeah. all up in here. And we, we, we just needed a, a, a proper catch up and see how our ear health is doing. So uh, shout out to all of us. <laughs> We're, do, we're doing a good job, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our ears are clean. She ears are clean. Ears nose are clean. clean. Clear hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. Full yes. hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. Yes. <laughs> yes. You guys don't know that? Clear I, hearts, clear eyes, I, clear I, hearts, I, clear, I, clear I feet. Like, I feel like you just made that up right now. Yeah. Full hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. Who says that? Who That's says not that? even like, this doesn't even sound nice. Yeah. Wait, like, I, I don't, I don't even that? understand what that Full means. hearts. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> I, this is from Friday Night Lights. I've never seen that. Oh yeah, full hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. That's the uh, that's like full the te Texas Forever. That's uh, from the t uh, Friday Night Lights. Anyways, uh -huh. everyone knows here. Everyone out here knows. You know, they know. You know, you guys know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess we do now. He's a guy. <laughs> he's a guy. You know, he's a guy. He looks yeah. like a guy. Yeah. He says guy things. Bring it home, man. Bring it home. Yeah. No, you bring us home, man. I already know where we went. I don't even know what you're, we're you're at. trying no, to I'm do like a remember the Titan speech and went to shit. So you got to do it yeah, again. You gotta, all, right, all right. Clear eyes, full hearts. Can't lose, guys. Thank you for watching today. Uh, please follow us on our. I don't know why my hands go up. Please watch us on our. our follow us on our social medias uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I hate it when you look at me like that, dude. 
<laughs> I hate it, bro. Look at the camera. I, I'm trying to support you, she dude. Supports clear eyes. Full hearts. My eyes are clear. Full, My full heart's heart. full. I'm trying to bring it home, guys. So, yeah, let's uh, please follow us on our Twitter and Instagram and TikToks and all the all the good stuff. So It's uh, called X. It's called Mike X. Mike Kim now. Comedy. It's called X. It's, it's called X. Twitter. X, sorry. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, you got My the Kim set comedy. breaker. Mike Kim Comedy and uh, the set breaker. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. I said it. Conversations underscore pod. Yeah, but well, on all platforms. I don't got a social media. Oh yeah, B. I mean, you guys know who Ben is. Come on. <laughs> B Tech underscore Ben Chung. Wow, you know my social media, Come on, dude. Man. I feel really like seen here. Dude, I, I can really name seen. all your cars that you've had in the last twenty years. I can name, you know, like. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Friendship. Bye. Bye. <laughs>